Hello YouTube, let's take a look at Abbott Laboratories. The Abbott Alkaloid Company was founded in 1888 by Dr. Wallace Abbott near Chicago, Illinois. Dr. Abbott noticed that medications he commonly prescribed like morphine and codeine only came in a liquid form which patients would spill. Alkaloid pills were produced, but Dr. Abbott became annoyed at their lack of quality, so he decided to make his own. By 1905, annual sales had grown to over $200,000, which would be just a little more than $5 million today. In World War I, Abbott Labs provided several medications to the U.S. that were previously made in Germany, but unavailable due to the war. After World War I, Abbott Labs changed its focus towards antibiotic medications with erythromycin, which was its primary source of revenue. Antibiotic innovations were progressing more slowly, so in 1964, Abbott purchased the manufacturers of Similac baby formula from MNR Dietetic Labs in Columbus, Ohio. Abbott entered the commercial market with Prem's non dairy creamer, Glad Hands rubber gloves, and faultless golf balls. Abbott did encounter a few hiccups, however. Abbott had purchased the rights to manufacturing cyclamate from DuPont and originally used the compound to mask the bitter taste of antibiotic medications. Looking for a wider application, Abbott used cyclamate as an artificial sweetener. Unfortunately, the FDA concluded cyclamate causes bladder cancer and the medication was recalled. Further diversification included hospital nutritional therapies that improved patient recovery times, as well as medications like Depakine, an anticonvulsant, Transine, a tranquilizer, and abokinase, which dissolve blood clots in the lungs. In the 1980s, Abbott developed electronic blood analyzers used for HIV detection as well as for illegal drug use. In the 1990s, Abbott developed biaxin, which is chlorthromycin, an antibiotic used to treat upper respiratory infections. In 1995, along with a partnership with Japanese manufacturer Takeda, Abbott released Prevacid, a proton pump inhibitor used to treat stomach ulcers. Despite these innovations, growth had stagnated, leading to a more aggressive style of management. Abbott began acquiring companies such as Medisense, a diabetic blood testing company, and Murex, involved in producing diagnostic products. Of these acquisitions, however, the biggest was the pharmaceutical arm of the German company BASF in 2001. Additional consumer brands which are well recognized include Pediasure and Pedialyte, which helps with dehydration, especially in children, EAS, which produces creatine nutritional supplements, bet you hadn't thought of Brady Quinn in a while, Ensure Nutritional Shakes, and Glucerna Diabetic Nutritional Shakes. Abbott Labs have also won awards such as Top 20 Employers by the Journal Science, as well as listed as a Top 10 Company for Women by Working Mother Magazine. Abbott has seen generally consistent growth over the past 30 years and receives a positive outlook from analysts. Abbott has been offering dividend payments for over 30 years and most recently offers a 1.79% dividend yield. In 2017, Abbott Labs produced $27.4 billion in revenue, netting $440 million in earnings. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment to stay connected.